doing tonight? Yeah. We have some first years, this is great. I love, I love first years. I love the mentality of first years. You're one of the only people in the world to say, hey, I'm in a situation where there are 5,000 people of the opposite sex within one mile, and I'm gonna fuck the one that lives across the hall. <laughs> There's two places that have this mentality. Halls and prison. <laughs> In prison, you know, you know the problem in prison with, uh, with, the, with the soap and the bars of soap and the showers? That problem now has gotten so bad, they've removed bars of soap from the showers. They now have soap dispensers, nailed one foot off the floor. <laughs> have we got any third years in tonight? Yeah. Not quite as loud a cheer, you might notice. First years, look at your third years. Look at them now. What do you see? I'll tell you what you should see. Death. <laughs> Because the third years are all in the same boat. They know that their time in the womb of university is coming to an end. I was speaking to a female friend of mine who's a third year, and she looked at me and she said, I don't want to leave the university. That's where the locals live. And they're miserable. She separated the entirety of mankind into students and the locals. But halls is, you know, halls, I, I hated living in halls because I was right next to a toilet which meant I could hear everything. But there was one thing that made it okay. I once heard someone go to the toilet and then go, flush, ah. Uh. <laughs> which was, you know, I thought that was really good. Um, you know, uh, as well, you know, the whole going out and partying and having sex thing, you know, that's great. But, you know, you know, people say to you first years, oh, you first years, you're at it like rabbits. I was a little different. I was at it like a panda. <laughs> I did go home with one girl, and I had the most backhanded compliment of my entire life. I went home with this girl, and we were getting to things. She, looked, she took one look at my junk, and she said, Wow, you're very well hung. For someone your height. <laughs> so yes, I'm very well hung for someone my height, or poorly hung for someone his height. I like how the lady next to him looked at him, looked at me, and went, I've got you sized, funny man. <laughs> We love education, we do, we love the whole education thing. But like, there's, you know, the, I almost gave up on education. And this was in biology of year five. We got shown a video of a woman giving birth, and the biology showed it to us, and then said, oh, you think that's bad? Watch this. He played it in reverse. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever seen pregnancy giving birth in reverse. It's essentially three doctors pushing a baby into the vagina of a screaming woman. <laughs> and as a fresh-faced 16-year-old, it is not what you want to see! But, you know, I find it hard coming to university because I'm quite different, but I don't, I don't want the accent to fool you. I'm from the country, but I am quite dangerous. <laughs> I came from a very rough cottage. <laughs> I actually, where I actually come from is a fish farm. I live on a fish farm and I love, I know, I love coming from a fish farm because it means no matter how badly I do in my life, I've beaten my dad. <laughs> fish farming, not even high up on the hierarchy of farming, it's barely above Farmville. 